Now I do want to bring in senior advisor to President Trump's 2020 campaign, John Pence, for more on today's meetings with the Mexican leader. Hi, John. Thanks so much for joining us today. Thanks, Greta. Great to be here. And we just saw President Trump and the Mexican president speaking to the media and signing a joint declaration of friendship and cooperation. Later today, they're set to be having dinner with business leaders from both the U.S. and Mexico. This visit, of course, focused on the successful implementation of the USMCA. Why is that deal so beneficial for the U.S. and for Mexico and Canada, the other country in that deal? Well, it's a great day for America. It's a great day for our neighbors in the North and the South. You know, America first doesn't mean America alone. President Trump promised uh, prior to being elected that he would put America first. He would renegotiate disastrous trade deals. And he kept that promise by passing the USMCA. This trade deal is projected to bring over $34 billion in investment here into the United States, over $23 billion for U.S. auto parts and over 2.2 billion in U.S. ag. It's why over 860 agricultural organizations in our country supported passage, and it's why today really is a great day for the United States, Mexico, and Canada. Uh, the USMCA does, of course, make good on a major 2016 campaign promise for President Trump to replace NAFTA. How is he gonna carry that success into his 2020 campaign? Well, this is just a good start, and I'll actually, Today, Robert Lighthouse, our U.S. trade rep, was talking about discussions to um, pass a trade deal between the United States and Kenya. Um, President Trump is looking at all of the trade agreements between the United States and freedom-loving nations, and you can bet that he'll continue to put America first in these negotiations, and I believe, as the president says, the best is yet to come. Uh, the Mexican president has gained a lot of praise from President Trump for his cooperation on the issues of both trade and illegal immigration. Uh, looking at the general election, how would a Biden presidency for, say, damage the strong relationship between the two countries? Well, there's a real contrast between President Trump and, and, and Joe Biden. President Trump is putting America first for all Americans. Joe Biden passed the NAFTA trade agreement, lost 850,000 jobs. Joe Biden put America last. And in November, voters are going to have a choice. They're going to have a choice between a president who's always put America first and a president, a vice president that seeks to uh, reinitiate the status quo. And in my view and in American views, put America last. It's not a good direction for our country. And it's why here at the Trump campaign, we are pushing this America first agenda to help all Americans uh, in the future. All right, and then the implementation of this deal does, of course, come amid the coronavirus pandemic, which has ravaged the U.S. economy, shutting down many parts of the U.S. economy. How would this trade deal help the U.S. economy recover from the impacts we've seen from COVID-19? Well, we've seen projected jobs under the USMCA, over 176,000 new jobs that come to the United States because of it. Um, last month's job report doubled, beat expectations over uh, nearly 5 million jobs back. Uh, we are in the process and we are seeing a great American comeback. And you can bet that the president who's been tweeting jobs, jobs, jobs for years is committed on bringing jobs back to this country and rebuilding America in the future. And then looking forward, what are the president's goals to further the U.S. relationship with Mexico if he wins re-election in November? Well, the president, it starts with securing the border. And frankly, uh, thank you to the, the president of Mexico for sending nearly 20,000 Mexican troops to do just that, to secure the border. Because remember, President Trump is now building the wall, um, but he also is making sure that the illicit drugs and illicit activities that are poisoning our communities aren't passing through the border. And the Mexican president has helped our president do that. Democrats have not. Uh, we need to take back the House. We need common sense immigration reform. And that's why President Trump is meeting today as well with the Mexican president to talk about long term solutions to illegal immigration that are going to continue to protect communities on both sides of the border. All right, John Penn, senior advisor to President Trump's 2020 campaign, joining us to discuss the USMCA and the Mexican president's visit to the White House. And thanks so much for coming on the show today, John. Thank you, Greta. Take care. Want to see more videos like this? Click on the link below and subscribe to One America News on YouTube. 
and call your cable provider and kindly demand that What American News is added to your lineup. Call and subscribe today.